So we have these regions that are working together, and I like to think of networks as similar to Christmas tree light bulbs. If one goes down, the whole network goes down. So what we have with stroke is we might have a lesion to Broca's area, or we might have a lesion to Wernicke's area, specifically if we have a patient who has a stroke or a focal lesion of any kind, but that will make the whole network itself function inefficiently. And essentially what we do in therapy, what you're all doing every day, is trying to diagnose the patient in terms of what is the region that seems to be primarily contributing to the symptoms you see, but how can we work around that? So if I have a Christmas tree light um, and it's one, the whole strand goes out, I want to look for which light is missing and I could replace it. But another thing I could do is I could just, if I were an electrician, I could just reroute the wire around that missing light bulb. And that's really what therapy does. So the crux of what we do is we can't repair a part of the brain, especially if it's the cortex, because those are neurons. They don't really regenerate, except in some very remote, small areas of the brain, like the hippocampus does get new neurons. But if we have a stroke, we're not going to be enabling the brain to create new neurons. But what we will do is enable the brain to reroute around the area that's impaired. We have quite a bit of evidence that that's what the therapeutic process is. So my job today is to explain that and explain how you as a therapist change brains. Because that's what you do. All day, every day, you're changing the way the brain processes information. You're routing around an area that's been damaged.